Hey guys, how's it going? I'm the Tomeister and welcome to the very first episode of my brand new series, City Skylines South Africa. I've been wanting to do this series for quite some time, guys, because South Africa is a country that I've always wanted to visit. I almost had the opportunity to visit it, um, well, this year, actually, I would have gone, but uh, that unfortunately had to be cancelled due to COVID. Uh, so I'm going to be building a little piece of South Africa in city skylines. So as you're seeing on your screen right now, guys, this is going to be the base layout for the map. Um, so there's going to be four different areas. In red here, we have the main city. It's going to be a fairly large city, but I'm going to be taking a similar approach, I find, to $2.20 in his Marble Mountain series. Um, so basically what he did is he has a small city that's kind of, it's a big city not really to scale. Within the main city, I'm going to be building a lot of the most iconic places in Cape Town. And I'm going to also be taking some inspiration from Durban and uh, the Johannesburg area as well. So you're going to see some references from all of those three cities. If we move to the east in the farmland area, um, that's basically exactly what it's going to be. Just some farmland, maybe some little villages and things like that. Uh, but then we move on to the wilderness in purple. And you can see that the wilderness actually occupies a big portion of this map. It's most of the map. And this is what I wanted for this series. I want the focus to be a lot on the natural beauty of of the map on the landscape of course you can't visit south africa without going on a safari so i'm going to have those types of things dotted around the map uh, all sorts of like beautiful parks and waterfalls and scenery that is going to be on this map and of course last but not least i'd like to build a small town up on the northern part of the map just you know to create some variance there's a bunch of little towns dotted around in south africa so i want to be sure to properly represent that as well. So that's the basic outline for this map. For this episode guys, what I want to do is create downtown or at least at least like a skeleton of downtown uh, for the main city. That's normally how I get my city started. It just it kind of like starts off the city so I know what kind of scale everything should be in and it just it just gets things rolling. Um, but before I got into that, I had to do some adjustments here. I didn't really like this island in the middle of the city it just kind of felt out of place so what I decided to do instead is create something that kind of looks like Durban I, I kind of like the way the landscape is around Durban you have like this kind of peninsula thing where you have a kind of like key peninsula thing that's just filled with industry and uh, you know the main port of the city is along this kind of piece of land here so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing in this city here And downtown is going to be just off, just west of that location. So you can see right here where I'm removing all the trees. This is where downtown is going to be. Uh, so the very first thing I want to do here is lay down some highway infrastructure. So when I say that the city is going to be inspired by, you know, Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban, uh, I'm going to be taking like a lot of key features from those places. And what I'm basically doing right now is the main highway heading into downtown Cape Town. There's this elevated section of highway which looks very incomplete because there's like unfinished bridges all over the place. And I just find it looks kind of cool. So I decided to uh, include something very similar in this city. Which does not have a name right now guys. I couldn't think of a name for, for this city. So leave any suggestions down in the comments because one of my goals is actually to name this city at one point. So I'd like to be able to get I'd like to be able to use one of your suggestions, you know, to, to get you involved in this series a bit more. And right now, of course, I'm going to build a Y interchange with the main highway that goes across the map. And this is easier said than done. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but I wanted it to look just right. And I wasn't really basing this interchange off of anything in real life. Um, it was just kind of trial and error to get something that looks nice. But I eventually get something that I'm pretty satisfied with. And... One other thing too is, um, as I'm moving along here, I'm expanding on on like different mods that I forgot to include. So I'm, I'm starting from like a fresh slate. Because um, as I explained at one point, I have three Steam accounts. 
and each Steam account has a different set of mods for each of my uh, my saves. And this account was actually the account I used for the Chenov stock series, which just ended. So I had to get rid of all of the assets, and I decided to get rid of all my mods and just re-download everything, just have a fresh, clean slate so I can get started on this series. And by the way, I've actually taken the time, guys, while creating the asset list for this series, I've uploaded it to my Patreon page. So if you'd like to go ahead and download the asset pack for this save, um, you'll just have to become a patron. <laughs> and also the map, the blank map for this series is also on my Patreon page. So go along and check that out if you wish. And this map is actually one that I found on the workshop and pretty heavily modified it. So if you want access to the actual map, but you don't want to become a patron, uh, I'll put a link down in the description to the workshop version of this map. Um, you'll see basically there was two giant land masses on the original map that I took away and uh, just, yeah, it's just water now. So a large portion of this map is actually just water and I'm fine with that because I wasn't really planning on building on the majority of this map anyway. A lot of it would have just been wilderness. Uh, but anyway, w without those two big chunks of land, there's still plenty of room to build this city. And also let me know guys if there's anything that you would like me to include in this series. I'm sure that there might be some viewers who are from South Africa or, or may have been there before or you know are just generally knowledgeable about the area. Let me know if there's anything that I should include in this series, any landmarks that you'd like me to put down. Um, or just, you know, just general, general request for anything that you'd like me to build. Um, I, of course, I don't have the entire city planned out. I want to build a lot of the, um, the infamous neighborhoods around Cape Town and, you know, Durban as well, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I'm just going based off of what I know. I, there, of course, I've never been there, and... There's probably a ton that I'm not thinking about, so just let me know down in the comments, guys. So the main Y interchange is more or less complete. Uh, I'm going to detail it in a later episode. Like I said, I just want this episode to be a basic shell of downtown. So I'm going to be placing down some, some of the taller skyscrapers in the city just to get a basic skyline going. Um, next episode, I'm probably going to take some time to detail downtown a little bit more, uh, you know, to place down just some smaller buildings to fill in the cracks and stuff between the taller buildings. But yeah, so like this episode is really just to get started on the city. Um, I took a different approach in this series. So normally I'll start on the outskirts and I'll work on, you know, a couple of different landmarks and features and I'll work my way into the city but I'm doing the complete opposite with this series I'm just going right into downtown starting with the city and I'm gonna be expanding outwards I think it just makes it a little easier and you know I'll be able to to better flow the city into the wilderness around it and now I'm building a secondary interchange right uh, next to downtown and this was actually a really fun one to build I like these highway pieces are so great they just conform very well they're super easy to use um, I'm sure you guys know about them I'm not entirely sure what they're called but anyways they're part of the asset list if you want to check them out so I'm gonna be including a few highways here and there throughout the town of course I'm a little bit constrained on space uh, I might have to reclaim some land here and there as we move along this series but for now I think we're in pretty good shape now let's get started on the basic road layout for downtown. I'm going to be basing most of downtown off of Cape Town as I find it has the most iconic skyline. Um, so basically if you're not familiar with Cape Town, the downtown region is located in this giant bowl. It's literally referred to as the bowl or you know something along those lines. Um, and I'm going to be making the basic road layout to look like downtown. Cape Town. Um, so you have like this big roundabout right in the middle of downtown and it seems like a portion of downtown is modern with all the big skyscrapers and, and lots of plazas and open spaces and then as you move up a little higher in downtown or I guess it's it's like uptown or midtown whatever the proper term is um, as you move into that neighborhood 
you can really see a, a, a change in the way the skyline looks. So you, you go from all these open spaces to all like these little buildings, wall-to-wall -wall buildings, little shops, and, and there's like a, a real transition uh, going on in downtown Cape Town. And I, and I really want to represent that in this series. So that's something I'm going to be working on in the next couple of episodes probably. Um, and what's fun about Cape Town too is there's such a crazy variety of, of building styles. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this because of course you have like your American style, uh, you know, these big skyscrapers, big boxy concrete structures. Um, but then around those you'll have a lot of what seems to be like Hispanic buildings. Now I know Cape Town doesn't really have any Hispanic culture. Um, but a lot of buildings look similar to what you would find in Mexico or or in California or you know what I mean. Um, so I mean there's a ton of that on the workshop so I think it's going to make building this city relatively easy. The challenge is going to be mostly for the suburbs I think just because it's I'm going to have to build in a style that I'm so not used to. It's going to be a real challenge but I think it's going to be pretty fun. And I really want to know, guys, your comments on how downtown is going to look at the end of this episode. So I'm going to go through. I'm just going to be placing down some pretty large skyscrapers here and there. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details, to, uh, like the ground level stuff. I'm going to touch on that probably in the next episode and maybe the next couple of episodes after that, too. I just want to know, guys, what you think about the general layout of downtown. If I should move some buildings or if I should include taller buildings or, you know, just let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll be sure to make those adjustments because I am I really like how the downtown area ended up so far, but I'm totally open to making any adjustments if you guys think that uh, that would be best. And in the future, I, I plan on making some driving videos. I really think some driving videos along this highway here going right across downtown are going to be so awesome. Oh yeah, and I think I should talk about the theme of this map too. So it's nothing too complicated, it's just the Los Angeles theme. It's available on the workshop. I'll put a link down in the description for it. Uh, but it is slightly modified using the theme manager. I think the only thing I changed though was maybe the water color and I think... The, uh, I, I did for sure change the cliff textures to fit a little better with this map. Maybe the cliff colors as well, but it's pretty much the base theme, just a few little tweaks. Um, but what I really like about it is when there's no flora on the ground, it has like this nice desert brown color, and that's something you commonly find in South Africa, or at least around Cape Town and, and other places too. Uh, but as soon as you start plopping down some trees or bushes, it turns this nice green, um, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. There's going to be so much variation across this map, uh, different biomes and, and different types of terrain, so I can't wait to get started on different parts of this map. But yeah guys, um, we're already almost at the end of this episode and downtown is starting to shape up pretty good, at least the, the silhouette of downtown is starting to shape up. But uh, again, guys, let me know what you think, if there's anything I should change or add on to it. And if there's any buildings that you don't see here, but that you know are on the workshop and would look nice in this area, just let me know where uh, or like what the names of those buildings are, and I'll go ahead and plop them. And here you can see a good example of like the Hispanic style that can actually be found quite a bit in South Africa that I've seen anyway on Google Maps. So you're going to be seeing a lot of this style uh, that I just plopped down there and I was basically just playing around you know just seeing what kind of buildings I could fit uh, but next episode I will be focusing a lot more on this type of building you know just like the little old buildings that are in between all of the new modern skyscrapers that have been placed around town so guys one more thing before I end this episode I'm just gonna build this simple diamond interchange here that connects to the highway it's gonna be like one of the main intersections into the city. I have a feeling that this is just going to be a traffic nightmare in the future, so I'm probably going to have to modify this at some point. So yeah, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to work on in this episode, and then we'll get into some really nice cinematics just to show off what we've built so far. So guys, I really hope you're excited for this series as I am. 
So this is basically Chenov stock's replacement, and I know it has big shoes to fill, but guys, I think you're gonna enjoy this episode as much as you did Chenov stock, and maybe even more. I have so many ambitions with this map, just so many ideas are flowing in. Um, I think this map, or, or this style of city, is gonna allow for many more possibilities compared to a Soviet-style city. So, anyway, you'll just have to stay tuned, guys, what is to come in South Africa. And also, think of a name for this city, guys. Think of a... a a name that would represent this region and, and fit this map very well. Just post some comments down below and I'll be sure to read them. So guys, I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the awesome cinematics that are about to come up. But anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for many more episodes to come. And also, if you'd like to become a patron, I'm going to put the link down in the description below. But with all that being said, guys, until the next episode, please take care.